On this week's episode, Ron's going to show us how to make a hand forged knife. Sponsored by TRE 4x4BC. Okay, welcome back to Fabin Adventures, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple hidden tang hand forged knife on my old anvil here. It's gonna be uh, quite the episode, so you guys stick around. And so about 20 years ago, I made hand, handmade knives for, I don't know, probably about a five year stretch or something like that. Made quite a few, made some money on it. And uh, it was a pretty good time. Got into a magazine, won a best Bowie competition once upon a time back in 03, 2003, so 17 years ago. Long 18 time. years ago is when I won that competition. <laughs> wow, that's a long time ago. So what you're gonna need is an anvil, a forge, some simple O1 tool steel. Yeah, you can get this stuff on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description below for whatever stuff we use. Maybe a hammer. A hammer. Probably a set of tongs to help hang on to the hot steel. Some files. Some files. Some... And this bad boy. Yeah, the old the old grinder, what I used to use to make all my knives. I believe it's like a, a third horsepower motor. Can't see nothing on there. But it's a third horsepower motor. It's got an eight inch flat plate and I use that to do all my plunge cuts, bevels, grinding the handles, everything got done. On this thing, I just switched out different grits of discs on there. So this video is gonna take a couple of times yeah. to get it yeah, from there, start to finish. There's probably gonna be three or four episodes or something, you know, we'll, we'll show you how to forge it, then we'll show you how to heat treat it, grind it, put the handles on, blah, blah, blah. You've watched a lot of this stuff on Forge and Fire, but you're watching it here. So hit the bell to be notified mm -hmm. and subscribe to the channel so that way you can make sure you watch the knife from start to finish. Let's fire the forge. So one of the first things I shape out when I'm forging a knife is the tang and I'm gonna hammer this into a four-sided rat tail type tang. Now I'm putting in the hot cut tool and I'm just gonna hot cut off that O1 tool steel to about the length that I figure I need. So now I'm just hammering the O1 tool steel down to a flat profile and start getting ready to shape out the actual knife. Now here you can see I'm using the hammer and the anvil, letting the anvil do the work. And I'm hammering kind of the heel of the blade and the bolster area. forging on the tang a little bit more, getting her more to shape the way I want it, flatten her out. So here we're hammering in kind of the belly of the knife and we're preparing to shape it. Flattening it out some. On these hammer strokes you can see I'm pushing forward on the hammer and they actually are moving the steel in a very slight way in the forward direction so I'm basically drawing out the blade just a little bit more. So I'm just going to show you guys here a couple of knives I made around 20 years ago. Just a little bit of knife and eye candy for you.
we'll just stop, take a little break from foraging here for a little bit. The old knife is getting closer to shape. And uh, we come up with an idea that we should maybe sell it or auction it or something like that off, maybe to just subscribers or everybody or whatever. But we want your guys' input. Do you want it just for sale? Do you want it for sale just for subscribers? Do you want us to auction it off to you guys for whatever, you know, come up with yeah. a starting bid or something? But if you guys have some great ideas or whatever, put it in the comments below and uh, we'll take a vote and we'll yeah. do whatever you guys want to do. It'll be a pretty cool little knife. I got some nice old handle material I've had for 20 years probably. And uh, it'll be a good sharp knife for sure. Yeah. Let's get back to hammering. So that pretty well takes care of the general foraging of the knife. The next episode we're going to show you some using the disc grinder on shaping it out a little closer and grinding in the bevels and whatnot. We'll drill a hole in for the little through bolt through the tang. And uh, heat treat? We're going to heat treat? Yeah, we'll do some heat treat, show you guys how to heat treat. It's super simple, just using regular old vegetable oil and a magnet to find out when you're up to temperature. And that'll pretty well take care of it. So if you guys are interested in watching the next episode, you stick around because it should be a good one. Yeah. So until next Friday, thanks for watching. Fabin Adventures. <laughs>